Why don't you check out your mind? Been with you all the time. Why don't you check out your mind? Been with you all the time. Hey, family. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Okay, family, I very seldom really want to go here, you know, because I listen to quite a few content creators, and most of them I enjoy, the ones that I do listen to. And um, today, what I'm going to say is going to be a little controversy, because I see um, a lot of people Totally, and they have every right because this, this is all opinions. What they say, opinions is like holes. Everybody got one. But there's a lot of people that is coming down on my brother, um, Willie D, and some comments that he made regarding my song and Tamika Mallory and um, the mother, uh, what's her name, of Tamir Rice. Mm, mm, mm. And one thing about the devil, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy, family. Just like he's doing right now. And one thing about the devil, he's a master of trick knowledge. The master of deceit. And the master of the game of divide and conquer. Okay, and haven't you seen it by now? I mean, I have been on the planet past 60 years now, and I've seen it. <laughs> Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. And y'all don't get it. That's why Willie Lynch said we're going to be perpetually miserable. You don't have to worry about us no more. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do because we're going to be so busy in fighting, killing each other, shooting each other, arguing about being totally separated and divided and conquered that we're not going to be able to do anything and get anything done. And by golly gee. Tell me it ain't correct. Look at Martin and Malcolm. Now we got Tamika Mallory, my song against. Well, they're not against. And I and I want to say this because as a parent, you know, I don't want to come up across as un insensitive um, and just, um, you know, hard because I can't imagine the pain of losing any one of my kids i just you know i you know i lost a brother a lot of y'all know two weeks ago and um well i lost him on february 16th he was murdered i mean and that's some rough shit i've had three family members killed one by the hands of the police two by the hands of other black folk so i'm fucking neutral when it comes to this here shit right here okay But when I talk to, when I think about my sister and the pain she must be going, you know, through to lose your baby, and under these circumstances, in the park, grown ass man jumps out, don't even wait two seconds to gun your baby down. That that pain is unbearable, and you just want to lash out and reach out, and, you know, whoever you can blame. Shame. I can't. I can't say nothing bad about what you feel in your grieving process. All I can say is this: you know, everything has an infrastructure, y'all. You can't just do stuff willy nilly like you want to. I know in some certain cases you feel like, you know, you got to, and you know, and in some cases it works. You get stuff moving. But in most cases, there's a protocol in the infrastructure that you follow or don't get done. In, in order to generate stuff, you have to, you know, stay in the, in the media eye to generate traction for a particular case. You have to continue to keep that, you know, those names in your mouth for you have to continue to, um, you know, do things, attract civil rights lawyers, hire 
civil rights attorneys because the, the, the civil rights is what that's been violated. The person's civil rights. So it's not like when you start talking about these people or nothing but, you know, power hungry people. Listen, we've always had them. You know, and like I said, when people start thinking about Johnny Cochran, what do you think that was all about? We love Johnny. But you're mad at Lee Merritt and you're mad at this other guy, Ben Crump. If you should be mad at Ben Crump for anything, it's because he needs to seem like he needs speech therapist. Not because he's there. I mean, and I hear a lot of people getting mad and um, saying that Tamika Mallory in my song and then was taking advantage. And y'all, that's, that's just such to me, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, family. It's such the wrong way to go. Here go another divide and conquer game here. You know, we got to fight on all fronts. It ain't just no one way to fight. And if you're stupid enough to think that we don't, we can't have, we don't need allies in America right now, you're crazy. That's just like you got some people, in my opinion, that want to say, I don't want to say nothing about no Asian hate. I don't want to say nothing. It's not my fight. My fight is hatred. I'm against oppression wherever it may be. You should be against hatred wherever it may be. You shouldn't just say, well, I'm against hatred if it's against married to black people. If it's married to black people, then I'm against it. But you can hate anybody else. What kind of shit is that? God ain't going to bless that. I don't like oppression. I don't like hate. So whoever's being hated upon, whoever's being oppressed, I'm married to them in their emotional situation. What's going on right now does seem like a ploy and a plot to divide us, even in our sorrow, even our pain. We got to fight in this too. The Tamir's mother is upset because she feels like everybody is making money off of, uh, besides them or uh, um, from what I'm seeing. Um, and if I can pull up the article, uh, what it said was, um, you know, you know, um, it says something to the fact, hold on, something to the fact of, you know, she's, she's suffering and it seems like these people are using, you know, these civil rights activists are using their plight to lift themselves up. In other words, the, the, there's an article written by Tracy uh, Williams, or Tracy, uh, what is Tracy's uh, last name? What publication that she went for? She, um, Okay, bottom line is, in this particular situation, Samaria Rice released an official statement Tuesday night reiterating her criticism of certain high-profile activists. It was a joint statement with Lisa Simpson, the mother of 18-year-old Richard, Richard Reiser, who was killed by a Los Angeles Police Department officer in 2016. The woman specifically called out Tamika. Uh, the women specifically called out Tamika Mallory, Sean King, Benjamin Crump, Lee Merritt, Patrice Colors, Melina Abdullah, and the Black Lives Matter Global Network, and demanding them to step down, step back, stop monopolizing and capitalizing our fight for justice and human rights. Now, what I want to say to y'all, you know, and this is with all due respect, because y'all my younger sisters, okay? Because you don't have a monopoly because your son was killed. My brother was killed by the police and nobody even know about it. Nobody, it didn't, it didn't even make national news. So the fact that somebody is sitting here speaking on your son and that his name has been brought to the forefront, 
that in itself is is a is a I mean it's it's a it's more I won't I don't even want to use the word it's a blessing because how how does that sound off your son's murder or my brother's murder by the law enforcement but the difference is somebody knows Tamir don't nobody know my brother nobody and the plight nobody cares about it no Tamika Mallory no my song no Reverend Al Sharpton nobody came to find out what happened to him we had to just take whatever they gave us and and moved on okay now this lady says and this is Samaria we never hired them to be the representation in the fight for justice for our dead loved ones murdered by police these activist events in our cities have not given us anything substantial for using our loved ones image and names on their flyers we don't want or need y'all parading in the streets, accumulating donations, platforms, movie deals, etc., off the death of our loved ones, while the families and communities are left clueless and broken. Don't say our loved one's name, period. Okay. Um, You know, I'm sad. I'm 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 sad to see this. Because again, in my opinion, we need everybody and we need all hands on deck. And I have never seen specifically, now I could be wrong, um an event most I saw um Tamika Mallory was mostly with the women's march. And I seen her with Bri Brianna Taylor down in Louisville, and I don't know because that was a female, but I've seen her down there, pretty much um, more than I've seen her any place, and I've never heard heard her specifically mention to Mir Rice, other than um, speaking of all the people that have gotten killed. I don't remember her specifically capitalizing or just monopolizing his Tamir's rights name at all. Now that's my recollection. So all I want to do is encourage you, sister, not to um and the fact that you see Tamika on the Mallory I mean Tamika Mallory on the Grammys and you feel like they're taking this situation and gone commercial with it. I get it. I get it. But if you do feel that way, I think it would be a better solution to sit down with your sister and um, open the dialogue. And tell her how you feel. Both of y'all parents. All of us are parents. Tamika, Tamika has got a son. I I know that um she's lost a loved one. I think her son's father. So we're all in this death murder cycle together. All of us as black women. And what you don't want to do is start saying, "Well, my pain is this, and y'all doing this, and I feel like y'all getting money," because then y'all make you make it seem like it's something else. Because if anything, you need to open up the dialogue. And since Tamika and my song and anybody else, I know you fired Benjamin Crump. I think that's what I I, I heard. But or or was it Lee Merritt? Regardless of who it was, take where the momentum is and get back together with them and let your son take his rightful place. Because there's too many of us who've lost a loved one to the police and we didn't get no press. We didn't get no no love. We just buried our loved ones and went on with it. 
So, you know, don't say that they parade these streets accumulating donations, platforms, movie deals, etc. off the death of our loved ones. Because I don't really think that's the case. And I think you should think about some of the things, you know, because what comes with these platforms, in my opinion, is responsibility. And a lot of people don't think they got to be responsible for the information and the, some of the stuff that comes out of their mouth. But they should. They should. So I had to add my two cents because I don't think Willie D was wrong at all in what he said. I think that I don't know if I, you know, I I don't know if I could um, say anything that would make anybody's pain go away that had a loved one that shot that by the police, and let alone a twelve year old, eleven year old baby. I can't. So this is not a time to have a Malcolm Martin moment or a Farrakhan and Khalil Muhammad. Um, Khalid Muhammad moment. This is the time for us to gather all ends, all hands on deck from every walk of life, from the attorneys, to the in uh, F A C to the N double A C P and that's whose name and I know they I know the organization that don't shit because all they first is ask you did you pay your dues but that's not what I'm saying here. Our job is to keep our babies alive in all of our mouths. All of our jobs is to keep our babies and loved ones alive by our mouths, by our activism. And so if people have put themselves in a position where they've gotten a little light shined on them, where they have the media's ear, well... If that's really what I want to do, then I'm going to make sure that Tamika and me will get together so I can make sure my my son's name is on her is on is on her lips as well. That's what I would do. That's that's just my opinion, because again, I don't know what it feels like to lose a child, and I can't wrap my arms around that at all. So my heart goes out to you. Samaria, and um, I'm not judging you, but I just think that we should some 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 things are private, and this was one of them. And we could have resolved this indoors, and we still can. And damn it, I know we will. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one.